Okay, so now since we've since we've collected our data, we now have to analyze it. So we're going to be doing a two proportion z test to do this. Um, okay, so let's get started. First, we have to state our null and alternative hypotheses. So our null hypothesis will be our null hypothesis will be that proportion of people who uh, prefer subject X, X could be K or F, doesn't matter, in casual clothes. Uh, let me get this P in casual clothes minus P X in formal clothes will be equal to zero, or in other words, there's no difference. And then the alternative hypothesis will be that the uh, proportion of people uh, who find the subject datable in casual attire minus that of formal attire will be less than zero, or in other words, since uh, it'll be less than zero, we'll be stating pretty much that um, he'll be more datable in formal attire. So that's our hypothesis. Now we need our formula for the z-test, and it's going to look something like this. z equals um, difference in the proportions over the square root uh, P combined, Q combined over the first sample size inverted plus the second sample size inverted. Something like that. Okay. Now that we've got that out of the way, we have to check a few assumptions. So we have to assume that this is a simple, uh, an independent simple random sample. So an independent simple random sample. Uh, this did not happen. Sorry, uh, this is a convenient sample, but we'll just have to proceed. We'll just have to proceed with caution. So now that that's done, uh, outliers. There are no outliers. It's a proportion test, so no outliers. And then we also uh, need to check normality, and that'll basically be that n times p and n times q. Uh, both of those combined, I should say. Both of those have to be bigger than 5. <coughs> so in other, in other words, since both the samples were size 50, P hat, or the P combined or Q combined, both have to be uh, greater than um, 1 over 10. So Q and P combined both have to be greater than 1 over 10. So, um, and that all checks out. Let me bring up the, so this is for subject uh, B right here. Uh, P combined is 0.63. That'll be bigger than a tenth. Uh, so will 1 minus that. And then P combined for this one is 0.68, and that checks out. So we're all good. Now we can proceed with the test. Uh, as you can see, this is for subject K. So for subject K, he got a z-score of negative 1.286 and a p-value of 0.099. So let me write that down. Okay. So z-score of negative 1.29, p-value of 0.099. And then for subject B, Z score of negative 1.45 and a p value of 0 0.073. So, what can we conclude about this study? Well, at a significance level of uh, 0.05, we can't reject the null. Uh, however, we can change this by st changing the alpha level to 0 0.10. So, it is significant at the 10% level. So uh, we can reject the null and let's accept the alternative now.